like to, so yeah, welcome you all tonight and just give you a very, very short introduction of the Centre for Culture Progress. For those of you who don't really have much background as to who we are and what we do. So, um, uh, this is our third event um, since um, um, we are an independent organisation. Thank you very much. Uh, I was going to introduce um, the new centre, but it has already been done. So I'll briefly um, uh, say that uh, I uh, work at the London School of Economics in the International Relations Department there, and have had a long-standing uh, interest in uh, Turkish politics. Um, my job uh, tonight, however, is to facilitate and uh, uh, introduce and facilitate the discussion for our very eminent uh, speaker, Rishen Shakir, who is, um, well, was senior correspondent for uh, the Vata newspaper, but uh, may I say, uh, will be working as of Monday for Haber Turk. Um, of course, this is uh, um, the last in a very long line of uh, eminent positions in uh, various uh, 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 newspapers and uh, other outlets in Turkish, uh, in the Turkish, in the vibrant Turkish journalistic uh, scene um, that Mr. Chakir has occupied. He has written many books and many uh, pieces of analysis uh, on uh, the Turkish. Um, Islamist movement, but uh, lately has turned his attention more uh, on the Kurdish issue. Uh, we're very happy to have him here at a moment which seems to have been pre-planned <laughs> because so many things are, um, so many interesting events are going on with regards to the Kurdish issue in the wider region. Um, without further ado, I will ask you to speak for about, uh, sort of, is that 20, 20, 20 yeah, 30 yeah. minutes, is that okay? That's what I have been asked uh, uh, to say, and then we will have, oh, and then we will have uh, a question and answer session. So please, our speaker. Thank you very much. 